Today, we're gonna learn how to build a notification page system on Flutter Flow. Dear Build AI asked me to build a system like this and we can make it real now. Sit back and find the solution with me. Okay, we need to start with Firebase as always because we need to collect user ID which user liked the post. So, we need three things user ID, post ID, and timestamp. There's a data must be referenced with unique post, so create data like I am doing now. That's it. Now we can continue with actions. Before the start, we must create parameters. We will need Documents of notification collection. You will just do like I am doing now. Okay, now we can set actions. I generally use toggle icon for like buttons, so this can make a problem like when user click toggle icon. It will create a new notification every time, but you can do this with two icons for like button. One button will create document, other button will delete document. You must refer them for this. Click toggle icon and select actions. Choose backend database. Firestore. Create document. Collection will be our notification collection. User reference will be our post user ID. This will create notification document on user of this post. But before this, don't forget to query post documents. Okay, now we will set field of notification collection. Follow my movements. Okay, we have done here. Okay, we have done here. Now let's build notification page. We will need user profile picture, username, time step, and post photo. I am building a sample for this. Okay, now we will query for list view. Query type will be query collection. Collection will be notification. User reference will be query all sub collections and choose single time query so we need users data and post data i will query again for row this time query type will be document from reference collection will be user collection choose notification document and select user id that's it we will do same thing for post photo Query type will be document from reference, collection will be post collection, choose notification document and select post ID. Ok, now we will set all data from queries, I am showing it now. We have just finished all configurations, so let's check our system. Okay, we will look first notification page, it is empty. Now we will like some buttons. As you can see, this is our notifications. I like it with other accounts, but I didn't show you for making this video not so long. So this is our notification page. 
I explained the basic logic of this system. I will improve this notification system based on comments, notification bell, and following request. I think to make a video about this, and this video will be special for Buy Me A Coffee membership. If you liked this video, please like button. I would like to see you in our Flutterflow community, so don't forget to subscribe to channel. I also leave links on description which you can contact with me on Telegram or Discord. I share there what I am building on Flutterflow nowadays and make pools and ask your advice about what we can make together on Flutterflow. Don't hesitate to ask me questions and I always try to answer all your questions. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.